a cordial greeting. Today is Thursday, June 22, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. At the time of recording this video, it is 5.45 in the evening local time in the Lesser Antilles, where the center of circulation of tropical storm bread is located just north of the island of Barbados. It will soon reach the waters of the Caribbean Sea. In this video, I will be updating the forecast. Additionally, we will discuss Tropical Depression No. 4, which is expected to become Tropical Storm Cindy and pass very close to the northeast of the Caribbean, also being of long-term interest to the island of Bermuda. Let's zoom in on the satellite image in the area where Tropical Storm Bread is located. You can see that the storm appears much less organized compared to the last 24 hours. This is because the sheer wind continues to increase from the west and is also injecting dry air into the circulation. In fact, the center is located just north of the island of Barbados. Notice that the cloudiness and thunderstorm activity are displaced to the northeast due to the sheer winds. The weakening process of this cyclone has begun, and it is expected to continue to rapidly weaken as it accelerates over the waters of the Caribbean Sea. Furthermore, in this animation, we can see the center of circulation located in this area. The mid-level circulation is located more towards the right. This means that the circulation is not aligned at different levels of the atmosphere, and this will cause it to weaken rapidly over the next few hours. Regardless, some tropical storm conditions have already been reported on the island of Barbados and also on the island of St. Lucia. Weather conditions will continue to deteriorate during tonight. On the Barbados Doppler radar, we can see that the center of circulation is currently located just north of the island. Notice that there is hardly any rain to the south and southwest of the circulation. The heaviest rainfall is maintained to the northeast of the center. Currently, it is not raining in Barbados, but this area of bad weather will move soon over the islands of St. Lucia, Martinique, and Dominica. Tropical storm Brett has even had a slight west-southwest movement, which is why, unlike what we anticipated this morning, the center of circulation should be passing over the island of St. Lucia or just north of the island of St. Vincent. Therefore, tropical storm conditions will mostly be felt between Dominica, Martinique, and St. Lucia. Based on the extent of the tropical storm winds, you can see that some of them are already reaching regions of Martinique and St. Lucia. They have also affected Barbados during the afternoon today. The good news is that tropical storm Brett will cross this area very quickly, and weather conditions will start to improve dramatically during the early morning hours and Friday morning. The forecast from the National Hurricane Center remains very similar. However, with that southward component of movement, tropical storm advisories have been issued for the island of St. Vincent. The advisory remains in effect for the islands of Barbados, St. Lucia, Martinique, and Dominica. The forecast track continues to be very similar to what we saw earlier today. It should accelerate over the waters of the Caribbean Sea without affecting Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, or the northern coast of Venezuela. It is anticipated that it will dissipate in the waters of the Caribbean Sea during Saturday afternoon or evening. Now let's talk a bit about Tropical Depression No. 4, which is expected to soon become Tropical Storm Cindy. This cyclone is being affected by sheer winds from the east. We can see that the center of circulation has been exposed at times during today. The greatest rainfall and wind activity are maintained to the west and southwest of the circulation. The depression has not been able to strengthen in the past few hours. However, the National Hurricane Center forecasts that it will become Tropical Storm Cindy tonight. It should maintain a mostly northwestward track, passing several hundred miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles Arc. Notice that at 5 p.m., the forecast track still keeps the Caribbean Sea outside the cone of uncertainty. Additionally, the forecast indicates that it could gradually strengthen over the next few days. However, starting on Sunday, it may encounter sheer winds from the Caribbean Sea, which could cause it to weaken, possibly becoming a tropical depression. Now, when it reaches this area, and if it manages to survive these sheer winds, it will have opportunities for reorganization and intensification once again. Interests in Bermuda should stay vigilant regarding the evolution of this cyclone. The track models continue to show very good consensus in depicting a mostly northwestward track for at least the next four days. Notice that none of them bring this disturbance to the Caribbean region, although we remain attentive to any unexpected changes. Also, the consensus of the intensity models keeps it as a weak to moderate tropical storm at least until next Sunday. If it manages to survive the sheer winds during the weekend, it may possibly find favorable conditions for reorganization in the long term. Although we continue to monitor any westward deviations from what was anticipated, the reality is that the ensemble members of the GFS model, all members, have this cyclone passing far from the Caribbean. The same goes for the ensemble members of the European model. This gives us quite a bit of confidence in this forecast. 
However, when we have systems that are being affected by sheer winds and remain weak, we need to observe any westward deviation from what was anticipated. For now, there are no changes in this forecast or reasons to be concerned in the Northeast Caribbean. By the middle or end of next week, the island of Bermuda could be threatened by this cyclone. Here we have the projection from the GFS model, which has a tropical storm passing near Bermuda by the end of June. Similarly, the European model also has a tropical storm passing near the island of Bermuda by the end of June or the beginning of July. Well, that would be all for today's afternoon update. I hope our friends and followers in the Lesser Antilles region are not experiencing significant damage from this cyclone. Fortunately, tropical storm bread is weakening and will continue to weaken over the next few hours and days. Well then, I say goodbye. See you in the early morning hours of tomorrow, Friday, when I will record a new update. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos I'm recording. Goodbye for now.